How do? And welcome back to Cartoon Nightmare with me, Tenacious G. We're continuing on with the Colony Cartoon Opiate. We have got an extra colonist in Cal, we named from last time. It was, she was called Beryl. And yeah, she's pretty beastly in terms of construction and mining and plants as well. Underground, a quick sleeper and kind. I could not pass up on her at all. Yefim is another mouth to feed. I am tempted to let her go, basically. Let him go, rather. Temp basically because the chemical fascination, but also it's another mouth to feed. And as it stands, we haven't got much food left. We've got a couple of animals to feed as well, which means I might have to slaughter them as well, which is not ideal because obviously they explode. But, you know, there's a good source of this fuel, which will help us in, t in regards to mortars. I'm in the process of making a greenhouse. You know, greenhouse, once we get that done, we're going to be sorted. But yeah, hopefully we can get us, uh, get these up and running again. But I just realised you cannot remove them, which is not fun at all. Right, we've got a quest. What can we get? Goodwill, a person. There's three stars is this, and it's not the best. I won't lie. Honours are alright, I guess, but there's probably no point as even taking this on. If it had been for food, I might be tempted, but we are going to look to go trading, I think, for some some food. Double D. Who's the best warden again now? DD. What I'm tempted to do is I'm tempted to wait for Yefim to be essentially fully healed. <sighs> I, and I, I guess against my better judgment, I might have to go and sell him because obviously if he's fully healed he'll, I'll get full money for him and I might better buy some food and bring it back because I think we're gonna run out of food Cargo pods what we got food 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 food. Yes Salvation go get the food. It's imperative For our survival any wildlife in there's a cougar And it is a cougar that's hunting us to be honest with you, mate, you probably made a massive mistake because you've got the two dudes with machine gun, you know, capabilities. Nice shots, tall chap. Nice. Go down, motherfucker. Eat shit and die. You're going to try and find some components for us down here. That's the plan anyway. Whether it happens, we'll have to wait and see. Johnny Bravo indeed. He's still getting it on. Yes, boys. We've actually got some uh, co some components coming in, which will help us set up our greenhouse, which is absolutely fantastic. Now, there's a cows down here mining overnight. Winter has indeed begun. Um, there's been no components found, but obviously we've been rewarded up here with these here. It means we're able to get some stuff built. Here comes the snow. We're now officially in winter, 1st of December. It's not going to be ideal, this, at all. Um, I feel I might have to get rid of the boomalops. Is there anything else in the wildlife? We did manage to take on the cougar. The berries have nearly gone. Uh, you're, you're like you're never going to heal, so I think I'm just going to release you. Right, here we go. Time for food. It's going to have to be plant, uh, rice plants. An inventor named Riss is crashing in the transport pod nearby. And suffering from a paralytic abasia and will be unable to walk. She'll recover naturally after many days. Also a chance of a lucky quick recovery. Paralytic abrasia can also be cured by a special operation which requires a large amount of glitter world medicine. Something we don't have. Well, I've got one bit. She's willing to contribute once she has recovered, but will not leave voluntarily. If you don't want risk, you can banish her, sell her to slavery, or leave her to die. However, you know, other, other colors, that's a bit harsh, isn't it? It's a freebie, like, don't get me wrong. Misandris, sanguine, and volatile. 39 days, is that how long it's lasted? Or... To be honest with you, I'm not that impressed. I might just banish them. So I'm not interested at all. I'm not bothered for the club. Gear they got, got tribal wear and a, a toque, which is poor. Well, unfortunately, you're going to die and we're going to get negative stuff against us. I think prosthetics is probably something worth doing. You need releasing as soon as you can walk. All right, no longer capable of walking. DD, before you go to bed, release him, please. Get out. Oh, he's collapsed. Okay, okay, okay. Let's capture him and then we'll release him again afterwards. When he's healed a bit more. Why the hell he just collapsed? I have no idea. I'd rather get the bonus for the, you know, letting him go. Cath this time's too. <laughs> Buzzing. All right, so Joe's going to get the temperature right in here. We've lost one of his boomalots, which is not a bad thing. Because it is food at the end of the day. We've got manhunter pack. That's decent, actually. Oh, except for the fact it's bears. Two bears. Hey, where are you going? 
Oh, I've got to, it's got, is it going to maul this guy down here? All right, stand here, please. Come get some. Carl, where are you going? At least he's, he's luring him in anyway. Come get some. Yes, one's down. That's fine. Nice. It's rotting. Yeah, the rotted animal, sadly. Double D's having a food binge. It's not ideal. Go ahead. Arrest me. No calf, this is sadly, but uh, the man is 10 against him. But at least he's, you know, is available for now. Rebuild by cow. He's trying to have a cow. You can get them together. It's going to be awesome. Death, that's fine. What's everyone think? They've never even seen him. Cost died minus three. I mean, it's nothing for him. We need food as soon as you're dead. Right, okay. Where is cow? You're all the way down there. Buzzing. A bit more food. Food more meals. I think I'm going to try again now and release you. So one less mouth to feed. Hopefully he doesn't eat that food first. Oh, she just, she's literally still dripping out of a flange. And she's just gone and got him. So that's another boom alert. Got it. It is emergency food. And obviously when it's needed, we have to. I'm hoping we're going to be a sort out of food situation for during the winter. Because we don't have to have this on all the time. We can always knock this off while we've got all the land to grow. I mean, technically speaking, I didn't really want to use all this stuff. But if we're building this, we should be all right. If we can get Double D and Cow together in the bed and in the same situation as Johnny Bravo and Dee Dee, we're going to be laughing. Double D's got a catatonic breakdown, which is extremely bad news. My dromedar is. These dromedaries are coming in. They were scarier, were they? So these are going to be... This is food, essentially. So here they come. Good shot. First shot. It's beautiful. Uh, that's a waste of a trap. Yes. Well done, Johnny. Right, I've made, the edge, well, I've made the decision to sacrifice this to get this built. Cow's having a tra tantrum. Oh, don't break that, mate. Wanker. The most expensive thing that we need, apart from this. Are you going to destroy it? And I forgot I could have just turned it on. Start trading again. But DD now has other technologies can do. I'll let, I'll let her finish off prosthetics. Next on the list. Now, so the choice we've got is 2,000 for a long range mineral scanner. Or we've got deep drilling and ground penetrating scanners. Deep drilling is good because you can start like drilling the floor, just get out, you know, marble, concrete. Not concrete, we're talking about marble, slate, granite, depending on where it's placed. There's a chance that you can get spiders and insects and things. Shields are decent as well for other other reasons. Transport of pods are good for trading reasons. Obviously, there's all these other things as well. The ground penetrating scanner means it'll be on this, on our map, basically. Long range will find it somewhere on the world, but you have to travel to get there, which is fine. And I think I'm, I'm going towards that at the minute because it'll tell us where there is someone or like a cell nearby. So I think I'm going to go for this one. There's a madromedary, which is more food. Cow. I mean, it's probably, let's be honest, just going to walk in a trap and he's going to die in it. There you go. Right, Double D is back. He's back in action. Look at this. Look at the food. I think it looks like, I think we should be all right, I think. Now we've got part of this greenhouse sorted. I'll double wall it eventually. I might knock that wall back slightly. Or I might just connect him. And then your route through is going to go through with this uh, stockpile. Got a quest. The problem of, of now then, which is... Nathan uh, is begging to join you. Following, he's got a threat. It's a two star jobby. Not bothered. He's only an archer. At the end of the day, we're not exactly 100% set in terms of having enough room for another another colonist. I'd like Double D and Cow to get it on if we could. Right, so we've got a war merchant from Sierra People. So I'll check that out in a second. Quite a few of them. I wonder what they've got in store here. If there's anything we can actually sell, there's DD. Right, we've got a lot of things we can sell here. There is food. There is no components, sadly. This is what it is, though. We've got medicine as well. So we can clear quite a lot of space. It's, it's a lot of things we're not really going to use. Um, yeah, I'm actually going to get rid of the park. I can make some more park, because it's not an issue. But yeah, I think just get rid of that. Get a little bit of money in. Why not? Right, so the robber camp is a quest. And it says, Misaki Misi Hailsham, Prime Council of Esdo. So there's a message. Apparently, Outlander's base in a nearby camp has been raiding their caravans. The camp is controlled by Anya League. This is asking us to destroy the camp, which means eliminating all enemies and um, turrets. 
This is as a bandit camp at the site, guided by four outlanders. Get table and camp loot, plant work. Beautiful neurotic and a jogger. Neurotic is a little bit shit. Doesn't mean they work faster, but they can break a lot easier. Not really bothered about the plant work. It's not the be all and end all. Pretty solid, to be fair. Just depends, because, I mean, we've got obviously Johnny Bravo with his Arctic eye and what have you. I don't know. It's another mouth to feed. Which we've got quite a lot of food actually, it seems now. You probably could manage it to join it afterwards. Camp loot could be anything. Four Outlanders and there's turrets. And the, the trouble is, Double D's lost a leg already. Cow could be half decent in terms of a, a melee boy. Got a flat jacket. I think we need some more armor before we do shit like that. I think I'm, I'm, I think I'm gonna pass. As much as it pains me, I think I'm gonna pass. Yeah, we're getting a lot more food now. We're on the way to designing the entire internal sections of here. I do need to get a better rec room as well at some point. Might put it down here, maybe. This is like the temporary kill box. Eventually, this will disappear, and this will be the only entrance in. Right, so the research should finish a long range of mineral scanners. Let's have a quick gander. What we're going to do next? Uh, probably going to do deep drilling first, I think. I'm tempted with shields, actually, though, but the problem you've got is. It's going to use up components that we don't have. So I think deep drilling is, is, is a priority, just in case. And then finally, what I'm going to check before we finish, is I'm going to have a quick gander. Long range mineral scanner. Need six components and two advanced components. We've got one advanced component. It's kind of a shame. And it looks like you're going to put it outside. Looking at this. Right, so I think that's about all we've got time for. We've been going for quite a while, but uh, obviously when I did it, it might not appear like that. Uh, but we've been going for over an hour. So I'm going to see what I can do to, you know, make it as exciting as possible. There's not been a great deal happen. A few manhunting situations. Plenty of food or whatever. We've just been battling the cold, really. Um, yeah, so I'm looking to try and finish off the wall next episode. Maybe get this set up and get a kill box set up once that wall's completed next episode. And yeah, as it stands, we don't really need anyone else. Just flooring it out to make things look a little bit, a little bit better. We're going to set up a, like a proper prison so then you can get them, like, get the, the resistance down a lot quicker. That's the plan anyway. And yeah, uh, I think overall we've, we've kind of ridden his luck a little bit with regards to the food situation. We've got seven hydroponics bases now. Temperature is a bit of an issue in terms of keeping it a, a, a decent enough temperature to grow. And yeah, it's just a case of we need to we need to build on that on the next episode. And I don't think you join us for that. If you have enjoyed this one, though, go ahead and press that like button. If you want to see more, feel free to subscribe. And until next time, I will see you then. Bye bye.